Well, now we go to the Court of Appeal, where the Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja, Nigeria's capital at the weekend, affirmed the victory of Mr. Daniel Asama of the Labour Party at the recently concluded by-election for the Basa Joss North Federal Constituency in Plateau State. The ruling opposed the earlier judgment of the National Assembly Election Tribunal, which had declared him as the winner of the election. It will be recalled that after an appeal court affirmed the ruling which nullified the election of People's Democratic Party members in Plateau State, PDP members in the state decided to work for Labour Party and the ADP during the rerun election since PDP was removed from the ballot of the rerun election. Joining us now is Emmanuel Mense Maraki, a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party in Plateau State and one of the lawyers who represented Daniel Asama of the Labour Party. Good morning. Welcome to The Morning Show. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, Mr. Maraki, thank you for joining us. Well, congratulations to your client, uh, Honorable Daniel Asama Ago. To bring us up to speed, could you give us the background to this case from the tribunal to the uh, court of appeal <coughs> and the significance of this victory? Well, um, it is important to understand that uh, the activities that transpired in Plateau states during the 2023 uh, election petition tribunals and going forward to the court of appeal indeed left so much questions to be answered. And one of those questions was when the Court of Appeal, sitting uh, on the same panel, decided on its own wisdom to nullify the elections of the People's Democratic Party in the states and ordered for a rerun in respect of Basa Just North Federal Constituency, which was initially occupied by Honorable Musa Aga, and of course, the election of the former minority leader, distinguished Senator Dr. Simon Matcon. It was as a result of that uh, declaration by the Court of Appeal that INEC was ordered to conduct a fresh election, which was known as rerun election, within 90 days. And uh, in that judgment, the Court of Appeal did answer the question that all political parties therein shall participate in the rerun, but in the interpretation by INEC, INEC decided to exclude PDP in the rerun. And of course, they were guided by certain principles of law that where an election is nullified, the election of the candidate whom election is nullified shall not be allowed to participate in the rerun. It was almost towards the conduct of the rerun that INEC came out clearly to say that PDP will not be on the ballot. Indeed, it was a troubling moment for the PDP in the state but in less than 24 hours, PDP took a decision under the leadership of the governor of the states who actually called the parties that were actually involved, the PDP candidates that were actually supposed to participate in the rerun, and indeed some of the unpopular candidates, so to say, that let us try by all means to ensure that we rally around these people to uh, give them victory. And to tell you that PDP is Plateau and Plateau is PDP, in less than 24 hours, without any serious campaign, the candidate of the ADP uh, clinched the ticket, the election, won the election for the senatorial. That is uh, distinguished Senator Pam Mat Kondachungyang of the ADP, and Honorable Asama won that of the uh, Basa Just North. Indeed, the PRP candidate was not satisfied with the declaration and he decided to approach the tribunal. And the tribunal sitting in Bauchi, you know, in a unanimous decision decided that indeed there was no proper petition before it and that all the issues conversed by the PRP being the petitioner in that election, of course, in that, in that, that petition, the issues were not proved in respect of uh, the provisions of the Electoral Act. And, uh, Dissatisfied with the declaration, with the judgment of the uh, tribunal, the PRP candidate decided, as an appellant this time around, to approach the Court of Appeal. And uh, over the weekend, the Court of Appeal dismissed that appeal. We are left with just the appeal of the Senate. He has two appeals, actually, APC candidate and also the NNPP candidate. That is... Uh, just the summary of what really transpired. And the significance of this victory is that the judiciary has demonstrated, again, 
for the opt-in time that indeed it is the last stop of the common man and uh, they stood by the extant provisions of the Electoral Act while dismissing the appeal. All right, thank you very much for that explanation. So what I see here is a convergence of at least, um, shall I say, support, where PDP and the Labour Party in Plateau State are working together. Uh, is, there go is there a possibility of them coming under one, um, shall I use the word, umbrella in the state of, in, in Plateau State? Well, what really transpired in the rerun election was something that has never happened anywhere in the Nigeria. Because PDP wanted to demonstrate and actually prove, uh, score a political point, especially to those other political parties that took PDP to court. For instance, even though the Labour candidate was one of the petitioners in the general election, in the general tribunal uh, petition, that was Asama himself, but then uh, during the uh, rerun, PDP decided that we needed somebody who would come from almost the same axis with the candidate whose election was actually nullified. And indeed, if you're asked to choose a uh, lesser devil, PDP decided to settle for the uh, Labour Party because Labour Party did not do any harm to the PDP. So there is this synergy uh, within the PDP because there was actually proper consultation and PDP decided under the leadership of the Governor, uh, Governor Caleb Manasse Mutfan, that for the fact that we are not going to be on the ballot, that does not mean that we should not ruin the chances of bringing somebody who is more competent to be in that position. That was why the governor decided to give the matching order. And in less than 24 hours, uh, Labour Party clinched the position. How does this horse trading between Labour and PDP and this new alliance benefit the people? Because you can talk about all your political cases, but the question is most importantly the people. Well, it is important to understand and also underscore the significant points that out of the candidates that actually contested for that position and they were, that they were supposed to participate in the rerun, Honorable Asama Daniel was seen to be more acceptable by the people. And PDP decided, since this position is all about the people, let us rally around someone who has the tenacity and the dexterity to deliver to the people the dividends of democracy. And I can tell you for free that Honorable Asama has already demonstrated to the people that indeed he has the requisite competence to drive home some uh, advantages and benefits. We have been seeing his programs, his participation in the National Assembly at the House of Reps. He has been so vocal and vociferous and he has been representing the people very well. This is all about the people, and not because PDP wants to just prove anything that is anti-people. No, it's just to show to the people that, indeed, we are out for you, for you people, and will rally around someone who has the, uh, the, the, the requisite knowledge to represent you well. Okay. That is just the whole essence. Okay, Mr. Madaki. Mr. Madaki. The uh, genesis of all this is that yes, the sir. court decided, and it was on the basis of the court decision that INEC uh, decided that uh, you know PDP could not be a part of that by-election. What was the decision of the court? That the PDP has no party structure in Plateau State. So that was what led to all of this. Does the PDP now have a Very structure well. in uh, you know, Plateau State, has that omission been addressed? The second thing is, what was the agreement that was reached with the uh, ADP man that uh, was elected for Senate and uh, the uh, Labour Party man that has now been elected for the House of Representatives uh, seat? Uh, is there an agreement that perhaps they would, uh, having won the election, join the PDP? I, PDP could not have just done this out of his own magnanimity to support ADP, <laughs> support Labour Party, and put them there. And then they will go into parliament and be anti-PDP. Well, well, tell us the story behind that. You, you are a lawyer, yes, we're told. You know well, that uh, nothing yes. stands on nothing. Um, yes, uh, Mr. Ruben, I think it is important, Doctor,
to understand that a lot of political commentators, legal practitioners, senior advocates came almost on a daily basis when Plateau State PDP was faced with the legal squabble in respect of the nullification of almost all the candidates by the Court of Appeal. The answer to that question is in the decision of the Supreme Court. In the case of Manasseh and Goshue, that is the case of the governor that went up to the Supreme Court, wherein the Supreme Court had the opportunity of reviewing the excesses in the judgment delivered by the Court of Appeal that nullified the PDP candidates in Plateau State. The Supreme Court did mention or said, stated, uh, this state the position very clearly that all that transpired, I remember at page 178 of that judgment, the Supreme Court said that all that transpired from the high courts of Plateau State up to the Court of Appeal were tagged as illegitimate judicialism or adjudication. To say that PDP had no problem, the issue and question of party structure was, decide, was actually addressed by the Supreme Court, which of course washed PDP or cleaned PDP from any mess that was actually painted against the PDP by the courts. The Supreme Court has actually settled that issue, and the Supreme Court decision on that matter is final in the real sense of finality. Coming to the second leg of the question, which is paramount for me to state it very clearly on this platform, that there was no alliance for the Labour Party candidate or the ADP candidate to either, after winning the election, you know, decamp or cross carpet to the PDP. All that PDP did was to demonstrate to the people for the fact that we are not going to be on the ballot or we have been excluded from participation in this election, we are going to ensure someone or people who have the requisite knowledge and capacity to drive home all the political advantages and points win this election. And in less than 24 hours, PDP demonstrated for the often time again that it has all the necessary powers in Plateau State to ensure that the right people win positions. And as I'm talking to you, the ADP candidate is doing marvelously well in Plateau State, and the governor is so happy with what he's doing because the essence of governance is to demonstrate to the people that indeed democracy is for the people and all politicians that win elections should be able to work for the people. The two candidates, PDP is not regretting rallying around them. All right, now that Mr. Asama, Honorable Asama has won, what are some of the key things? Because I like how you ended that, that if the people are, um, they are who matters and, and the governor is working in the interest of the people, what are some of the immediate things that he'll begin to do so that those who he's representing in the Basa um, uh, North local government, uh, federal constituency will enjoy? Well, uh, the Honorable Member House of Reps, immediately after he was sworn in, he swung into action. So far, I am very, very comfortable and sure that he has been able to sponsor a lot of bills in the, in the House, which some of the, uh, sponsored a lot of motions. Each time there is anything in Plateau State, especially if there's an attack in Basa just not, Asama is always at the forefront, demonstrating to the Nigerian people that indeed there is a problem in Plateau State and he is actually there as a voice for the people of Plateau State or Basa just not. And each time there is, there is any, if anything that belongs to the people, Asama will not hesitate to take it to the people. Recently, we saw him going to IDP camp in Plateau State sharing all necessary palliatives that were given to him by the federal government. He shared fertilizers to the farmers. Some of them did, did not actually even disclose to their constituents. Asama was able to disclose to his, to his constituents. He took all the fertilizer to them and distributed. We saw him giving spaghetti, give all manner of things that are actually meant for the people. So Asama is for the people. We are not regretting from the PDP actually rallying around him. And we are praying and wishing him well so that the people of Basa just not will smile again. Can you tell me some of the bills he has sponsored for the people? Well, Asama has sponsored a bill in respect to the establishment of a mining institute in Plateau State. He has sponsored another bill 
for the establishment of a Federal College of Education in Plateau State. He has sponsored a bill in respect of, uh, I think, a motion uh, in respect of some attacks that have actually happened around uh, Irigwe axis of uh, Miango axis of Abasa. And he has done a lot of things. I think these are some of the few things I can actually remember that he has been able to do. So to me, he's starting on a good footing. He has some more years to go, given the right platform that the court of Parfil now has cleared the cost for him. I'm sure he will now concentrate and do marvelously well. OK. Uh, in the course of this conversation, you've mentioned the name of the governor providing leadership for the PDP in Plateau State. I recall that Honorable Asama Agu himself you know, uh, devoted a whole paragraph uh, <coughs> thanking the governor uh, for making his uh, election in that by-election uh, possible. Can you talk to us about, you know, Governor Mutfang in uh, Plateau State, what he's doing, how he's uh, providing that leadership that uh, your client prays to high heavens? Well, for the first time in many years, Plateau State is now smiling. And I can tell you for free, doctor, that Governor Caleb Manasseh Mutfan is not just a blessing for Plateau State, it's a blessing to the Middle Belt. He has been a voice for many, and he has been churning out programs, policies that are pro-people, benefiting the people in Plateau State. And I can tell you that Honorable Asama decided to go back and thank the governor for ensuring that, yes, indeed, the election was peaceful in Plateau State and he was able to win with the support that the governor gave him. Before now, Asama was quite unpopular, was not too popular in the political landscape or terrain. But with the support and the, the knowledge he demonstrated, you know, the governor decided to say, look, this is a good, actually, uh, this is a good brain. Let us rally around him and give him the platform to succeed. The governor is someone who believes that you are not successful until you have a successor. And that is what Governor Mutfan is doing. Go to the state, almost everyone is smiling. With this uh, 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 hike in f petroleum uh, prices, the people in Plateau State have been having difficulty in transporting themselves. But the governor brought metro buses in the state that are taking people for just 200 naira, wherever you are going. 200 naira. Go and see the medical uh, uh, sector. The governor is doing marvelous. Just yesterday, he launched uh, a drug warehouse where all the drugs in Plateau State will be warehoused there. They will be supervised and they will take the inventory. Or if there are bad drugs or if there's, there are drugs that are not supposed to be consumed by people, that warehouse was just commissioned yesterday. And so many things. Go and see the road network. A lot of uh, work, construction activities are going in Plateau State. To me, Governor Mutfan has answered so many questions that made people to almost give up on democracy. He's restoring the hope of the people in Plateau State. He's restoring the hope of the masses. Payment of salaries, okay, which of course I know. Note. He said that payment of salary is not, he said that the payment of salary is not an achievement, but then he is ensuring that Okay. Civil servants are paid their wages as a due. Okay, because Mr. he Madagini. feels, and he has actually come up to say, it is the right of the people to be giving what belongs note, to them. On that we thank note. Governor Mutfan, and we cannot thank him enough. On that note, we would like to thank you very much for joining us on the morning show today.